Just sorting out <coughs> my um, oh, the, the two streams. I'm s streaming to YouTube and Twitch. So I've got my Twitch one up. So that that's there with the chat. Open that up, and I've got my. No, so I've got the YouTube. Got the Twitch. Beginning kind of takes a little while, but that's just how it is, isn't it? Got my reference photo. Like I've got a big screen here to look at. Make that a bit bigger. Ooh, okay. Got my glasses on, but I can take them off now because I only need them for certain things. Got my dandelion chai tea with manuka honey and um, milk. <laughs> so I am painting this pet portrait. Um, little pet portrait, what is it, 40 by 40 centimetres. So I've set up my studio slightly differently. I, so someone's mentioned to me when I was showing them my setup, a friend, and she said that it would be good to see the painting here on my, on the other little screen with me in it in the corner there so so I've tried to set it up like that so we'll see how that works today so you get to see the back of my phone I don't know if that's a good look but it'll do it'll do um so my this is my palette here with some paint I've just put in it and what I'm doing at the moment actually is I've I've started I've, one of my New Year's resolutions. I don't know if it's a resolution or not, but I am writing down the in my diary. I got myself a diary, and I'm writing down things in there, things like the colours I'm using and the time it takes, the time I spend on painting, just as I do them. Um, just keep some kind of record so we'll see how that goes so I'm just going to put a little bit of medium in this bottle top a little bit of thin painting medium and this thin painting medium which is actually in here it's quite a big bottle of it um, it's a binder medium so it thins the paint down it gives it a little bit of shine but it dries really really hard it also dries pretty quickly, so it's um, good to use at the beginning. I actually use it all the way through when I'm painting thinly, so thin layers of acrylic paint over thin layers of acrylic paint, rather than big, thick, chunky paints in this, at least at the beginning of this painting, that's how I'm going to do it. Now, um, I've also made a trace. So I've just traced the outline of the subject I'm doing. And actually I can zoom back on this one. So the subject, see I've got, I've got the subject here. And I've got the subject there so I can look at it. Print it out on my printer. Um, I'll just zoom in. I can zoom in twice more. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to use to look at. So... Oh, so yes, yeah, so I was talking about tracing it out. I actually took some notes today. I've written notes in my notebook, so I've got plenty to talk about. But paying commissions, this is a commission. Um, you want to, you know, be economical with your time because you, you're charging for that. So tracing it saves a lot of time. So it's a good idea to... Um, map out those eyes to trace uh, this first part just the outline really um, that saved me a little bit of time don't have to trace it and, so, and some things I certainly 
don't trace it, but something like this, someone's pet, not have to look exactly like the pet, have a really good representation, then I can get that bit down with a trace. Um, yeah. So I'm looking at my, I'll zoom in, I will zoom in, I'll zoom in on this one. Now, oh, now that's the other thing I have to do is lock the focus. Hang on, stay still. Lock the focus by touching that. No, focus locked, good. Okay, that's what we want. Right, so it has begun. Mm. Now, I don't have any Prussian blue on there, do I? I actually do want a bit of Prussian blue or some kind of blue. Some kind of dark blue for underneath their nose because that looks pretty black there. So I'll grab my Prussian blue. Now this year I'm going to try to be a little bit more organised. I'm not very organised. Like I'm a bit of a haphazard kind of worker, but um, I need to be more organised so I can just um, be more efficient this year so that's why things like taking notes about the colors i'm putting down you know makes it easier um uh what, what was the other thing i was gonna oh sorry about that um um once you start painting, you kind of want to think about that too. I want to start with the eyes because the eyes are the focal point of the painting. So you kind of get them down first and then can work out from there. And I can go back to them after as well. Yeah, so I was going to say, what was I going to say about that? Oh, well, last night I stayed up pretty late watching. I've been watching The Witcher on Netflix and I don't watch a lot of telly but I watched the first season of The Witcher and really loved it. My daughter, my oldest daughter put me onto that and so I've started watching the second season of The Witcher and um, so I was up to episode five and I ended up watching three episodes of it last night because it was, it's that good. I couldn't stop. Well, actually, two and a half. I'll watch, I'll watch the other half tonight. But um, I um, yeah, it's fantastic. So, um, I had a bit of a late night last night because so I planned to get up super early and do an early stream of this, but um, I ended up sleeping until like seven thirty. Hmm. Alright, so I've got those bits down. I probably should get the, some of the other dark bits down. Uh, I'm going to mix some magenta violet with the yellow I have on there. So I'm working on a couple of paintings at once. You know, this one and another commission. And... Um, but that other commission is at a difficult stage, so I don't want, I can't really, I probably couldn't do it live. Well, I probably could, but I had to concentrate too much and I'll make it difficult. At the beginning of painting, you don't need to, well, I don't need to concentrate too much because um, I can just let some of the marks and things happen and just sort of chuck it on. Looking at tones. Um, oh, I think I need. Do I want some orange on my palette? Some actual orange. That's not orange. So that is. I've mixed violet and Australian sienna together, which gave me an orange. But I actually want a proper orange on my palette, which I've got down here. Uh, which and then I can mix the orange with 
yellow ochre to get a lighter kind of colour orange. And the thing with acrylic paints is you really need to have more pre-mixed paints than you're mixing them because they dry so quickly. I a scrap of the water on my palette because it's not cool. It's pretty warm weather here at the moment and our air is pretty dry so things do dry quick. I might just sit and put so we're in the we've got the light coming in from this side and the dog is sitting back here. Um I put the back of the dog is right you know here. So the light hits the back of it too, which is interesting. So just put, get some of this light in before I kind of do anything much there. Um, yeah, so the witch is really good. Like I'm, I'm enjoying that. Real fantasy stuff. I reckon. So this little dog, a pretty cute little dog. I like Labradors. I mean, if I if I've got a Staffy, if I got another dog, I wouldn't mind a Labrador. To be honest, I think they're just darlings. Um, well, I like a lot of dogs. So my daughter, she's minding a um, oh. A little fluffy, little round, tiny, little kind of Pomeranian looking brown sort of miniature, I don't know what it is, husky kind of thing. Uh, and it's a, it's a lap dog and it's tiny, like it probably weighs three kilos, like a chihuahua size. But it loves sitting on your lap, like it's literally a lap dog, it, it actually wants to sit on your lap like it can't handle it if you're not if you haven't got it on its on your lap and um it's very soothing to pat little dogs like that you know? very soothing i'm just chucking some colors down I've got some tone through the middle there i think i'll do that now using very crappy kind of brushes to give me some interesting marks. Another little sip of my tea. Maybe I'll get a bigger brush this time. Bigger brush. Actually, a bigger kind of crappy brush, not this one. So what else? Oh, yeah, some. So one of my well, is it your New Year's resolution? Well, or just a new. A New Year's plan, a plan for the year. So I've got a, uh, so some of my plans I've thought about doing things a bit differently. I'm looking for white. What do I do with my white? White, white, white. Where did I lose my white? And I've got antique white. I'll just use that for one of my other white. What do I do with it? Oh, no, I know what I did with it. Using a diary. So I start a painting and then I list the time I spent on it. I usually work in hour, hour long blocks. So I'll write that down. Doing it on Twitch actually is good because I get, a, I get the time listed on, on, the, on the program. So that's kind of... Um, helps with that. Uh, take that down there. Um, yeah, so that's one of my plans to use my diary in a, in a way where I, every time I start a painting, I'll um, have a page for that and, you know, write down the time spent on it and the colours I'm using, so I've got a record of that. That's one of the things I'm going to do with that. 
and then um, Oh, because one thing I do do also, just to remember the kind of colours I'm using, is I take I take the colours I'm using in a painting and put them aside um, in something. So like over here, for example, in here, this little toolbox, this little toolbox, I have the colours of another painting I'm working on. So that's them there and then I know you know I can just grab that and put my paints out and I don't have to try and remember what it was I was using on there um, so that that's one way to do it because um, especially like with the second workings and you want to match colors and stuff like that um, it's you need a sort of system to to you know remember what what colors you you had I'm getting I'm getting a bit thick here I should just tip that it might be the brush might be this brush I'm using so actually I'll put that on there kind of comes together pretty quickly once you get started but that's no good uh, I don't know if I like that brush Where's a different brush? Oh, I might try that one. The difference between this one and this brush. Let's have a look. I oh, yeah, see that one. That's a filbert, so that's got this. Which I can hold it. Can I hold it up here? Uh -huh, yeah. A filbert. This filbert has this round edge, and that's fairly long, and this one's flat, but that one's kind of spade out a bit so it gives me some interesting marks these are hogs hair but sometimes when they're pushed together and not so spread out i can get better marks as well different kinds of marks i quite like using old brushes old brushes are good all right so Yes. So, notes. Yes, that's my my diary. And so, another thing I want to do this year. We're always talking about things we want to do. Um, I don't know. When you say things out aloud, you know, you then you kind of do them, don't you? You're more inclined to do them, maybe, or maybe not. But that's not a bad idea. Put some marks down there. Um. Oh, we'll get some a bit of water and sort of move that around a bit. So just just use some straight water actually. Just straight water on my brush. I can just move that. Move it a bit and just soften that because it was going on a bit heavy. Not that it matters at this stage of the painting, but yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm using purple with a bit of yellow and it's got a kind of a bit of blue to get a cool kind of brown that is grey kind of brown because there's this sort of colour in here oh, I wanna I can hear a siren going I'll just start building this up a bit hmm I wonder what's going on with that siren And this side is a bit down there. Right. So, oh, what's that talking about there? Um, yeah, using social media. So, that's another thing um, I need to work on this year. Really concentrating on my social media because 
because the gallery I put my work in, or one of the galleries, probably my favourite gallery, that I've been putting some of my work in, um, has, is closing. It's closed. So that was pretty sad. Um, I don't know if it was what, what's, what, why. There's, some, there's different reasons why. And, can't really go into those, I suppose, but, um, so, so now I've got to think, well, the artists, some of the artists I do exhibit there, so we look for another gallery, um, and, or, you know, or the other option is uh, doing some more, more of an online presence, which actually, seems to be the way um, the art world is going online so um, so I do quite a few commissions and most of those well no half of those probably are sourced through they find me online or they through friends and then look me up online or I don't know but not, they come through on my social media that the inquiries so um, so I'm going to work on that and then because this gallery is closed I was thinking well well I'm going to do something with the work that I just you know like to do where I usually put it in that gallery I've got, an, I've got another place I put stuff as well or a couple of places actually and there's competitions and there's, you know, there's lots of ways you can get your work out there. It's not, not really a problem, but it's just choosing a way. And I give, I think I want to try, try to sort of, I, I, I think I, I like this social media because I'm fully in control of it, you know. But. Having said that, there's the problem of hustling your work, like many artists, including myself, we're not very good salespeople. It's very, very hard to sell your own work. It's really, really hard. Like, it, it, you, you know, um, I don't know why, well, I don't know. I just think about that honestly. Why is it so hard? What it, it maybe it's that you know imposter syndrome thing, or I don't know. It's weird, but and then some are really good at it. You know, there, there are a few, but a lot of the artists that I know who love just love painting, they're just hopeless at selling their own work. Okay. Got to connect some of these dots somehow. Um, it's like connecting the dots. You know, you get a bit down, and then you get a bit more down, and then you start. No, go back. Yeah, brush. So, online presence. Yeah, something I will be working on this year. Just to, well, I. I'll see if I can see what I can do with it because I'll yeah it, it'll be well I never know I hope I change my mind but I, I kind of I do like it like I like I like the I like being in control like that <clears throat> so there's doggy face coming along and I'm going to put I like put the neck in his she is lying down. So I shall put put this bit of this ear in. Because that's got a right actually that's raised up a bit. She's a bit flat in the head, I've got to watch that. So that and like that. And then this one, this little ear comes around here. What's this one doing? I've got this. So I haven't decided on a 
background colour yet, or anything like that. This pink is just an underpainting and it probably won't stay. I like it though, like I mean I love I love pink. I love pink. Yeah, so we'll get some of that in there. It's just nice watching it evolve, I think. So the thing with this live this live studio, it's pretty funny really, but I have to keep talking. Like I don't have any music. I mean, you can hear the birds and silence, well, awkward silence, you'd hear the, my brush kind of swooshing on the canvas a bit maybe, well, I'm just going to talk crap, just going to talk and talk and talk, it's good practice for, for my teaching stuff, but talk and talk and talk. Uh, all sorts of crap. So I want to get better at that too. So that's another thing I want to do. In 2022, that rhymes. It's another thing I want to do in 2022 is get better at talking crap. No. <laughs> better at talking about nothing much. More than that. Uh, yeah. Oh. We'll give it a go and just be more organized and start the year off with all these with all these things and then we'll join some more dots and then you don't do them but actually I, I try I will do them like I do I'm, I'm pretty good at doing my new year's resolutions and sticking to them so, ah, here we are, coming along, coming along, I have some more tea, you'll get cold. So, oh, what time did I start to, oh, I can, I'll have to look later. It doesn't actually give you, um, doesn't give me a timer when I started this thing. Hmm. Oh, well, okay, what's on my notes here? Um, um. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I am actually covering a lot of the stuff I'm writing about. So finding a new gallery, what am I going to do about that? Uh, well, one of the things to do is just do it all myself online, which I think I'm going to try. I'll try. I will try that. Uh, because just yeah um I need to just get into that other area don't I before I do anything else yeah so um this bit that's a bit of a Bit of a green, maybe too bright a green there, but actually I'll put a bit of it up here. I don't mind that kind of greeny colour. Quite pretty. And that and get dark into the fold of the yellow. Alright, I'll change the brush. Change the brush. And then I run out of things to say. Maybe I'm talking too quickly. <laughs> I slow down my talking I might be able to talk about the same thing for longer longer okay so that ear here is there and we get these oh, and then we get a bit of uh, a bit of um, uh, light coming from back there oh, we'll put that bit of light in I do feel <coughs> not great. I do feel good about um, writing stuff in my new diary anyway. <laughs> yeah, that oh, I might have to. Okay. 
right. Right, right. Go down here. Uh, and this one. Right, now what am I doing? Oh, underneath. The under bit. Okay, so just. This is where I'll get my other palette, which sits under that one, and I use it as a lid as well. Put some of that white on there, put some of that one back on my other palette as well. Put the lid on, and it just makes up a bit of a cool colour. I'm going to put some brown, some burnt sienna, and some of that blue. Um, Australian blue gun into that to kind of Then a little bit more white and maybe maybe a little bit of the the other blue and some pink actually I want some pink in this bit here. So then we got some time there. His belly is here, and we've got leg, leg there, belly, yeah, okay, and I'll just fix this side with the light, then I can decide what I'm going to do next. Um, oh yeah, okay, so that can go in a bit more. Concentrating in it. There we are. Okay, so what's wrong with her? Right. Tone in the ear, light in the ear. I might go back to that one with a little bit of pink on that there. I think. Oh, actually, I've got some cadmium yellow here. I'm going to mix a bit of cadmium yellow in there so I can get this yeah, nice light uh, colour there. Um, that one. And this one comes down here. And then that goes over there and there. So I'm going to chisel out a little bit of that in there. Yep. Yeah. And then the other ear. Uh, I got two. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to think about the back. No, oh, maybe the nose. Hmm. Let me think about this. Uh, maybe I'll just solve that bit. 
first while I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. What have we got? We need some of that. Maybe I'll stop with the purple. So this has to be finished by oh, about around the 14th, I think it is, which is why I'm, yeah, so, so I'll finish that easy, but um, and then, so, oh yeah, so another plan, so another plan, another plan I've got, and I, now I saw this, I got this idea of someone else, and I can't remember where I saw it, but, um, so, oh no, that's right, it was this guy called uh, Andrew Huberman, who's a neuro, neurologist or neuroscientist, and he talks about things like, um, he's really good actually, um, just brain function and, you know, routines and, um, all sorts of things about the brain. And um, so on, on this one thing I was listening to, it's talking about um, morning routines um, with work. And so he was talking about um, the things you have to do in the morning, you know, do them first or sort of put aside, yeah, that would be the first thing you do. So say for me, if I've got commissions I'm working on that need to be finished by a certain time that would be the first thing I would work on in the morning so um, like put put an hour aside so get up and first thing work on a commission uh, um, for an hour and then after that I can sort of work on something complete you know something else something I want to work on or something I'm thinking about or something you know that's not so important or sort of urgent to finish and so what I've started doing is um, putting using a timer actually I've got a little timer where is it oh yeah some timer here um, and I and I you know get that time set um, for the hour, and I'm going to do an hour's work, and I um, just set it at an hour and do an hour on a commission or, or so the thing I'm, I need to work on, and then um, and then it's done for the day. It's fantastic. Um, and sometimes you know the hour is up, and I just want to keep going on it. So so I do because I'm really into it or whatever. But and then I. You know, it's and that also helps me write it in my diary. So um, that is going to be a sort of system I'm going to take up. Um, and um, it's really good because, as in, when you work for yourself, like with this sort of thing doing things like paintings and you've got a whole lot of projects sort of lined up and listed that you need to be working on and ones that you need to, ones that you want to be working on. It get it can get a bit overwhelming as to which one you want to do, you know, you're going to work on and, and so that can cause you to um, sort of not... Um, you know, do other things like housework or, you know, because you're kind of procrastinating so much about which one you should do, um, that overwhelmingness of it all wastes time. So, um, by just doing an hour, just going, well, I'm doing an hour on this commission or this important thing, at the very beginning of the day just gets it out of the way and then you're free to just 
explore other ideas. Fantastic it is. It's really fantastic. So um, I've started that, that kind of thing. I started doing that and And so, we'll see how that goes. Oh, took a bit of that blue there. Cool. I need to cool this down. I'm just going to work on the nose. Now, noses are pretty important. Um, any kind of focal point, and these things like noses, um, mouths, uh, these focal point areas are really important. So you've got to spend a bit of time on them, building them up. And um, I need, oh, I need the right colour. I need some fresh water now, so I've got, I've got a stack of water. Right. So I want to make a colour that's going to be that nose colour. So I'm going to use, so I've got my... My pinks, now I've made kind of purple colour, so I want to knock that out. I'll add some yellow to it. Not too warm a yellow. That's not a bad colour. Yeah, a bit of orange to it too. Yeah, okay. It's probably, we'll see how this looks. No, not bad, not bad. So, so we'll go lower that nose hole there. should have black, a bit of black on my palette. At the moment I'm using um, Prussian Blue and Burnt Sienna for my dark. So I'm mixing that with that colour and it's it's a just, it's not bad. It's not too bad, but I probably do need a black. I think I'll... Um, I will get a black. There's lots of weird things happening in this painting at the moment. And that's alright. I'll have to get into the eyes in a minute. Um, right. I'm going to put a bit of black on my palette. So a little bit of carbon black because that will give me some greys. Some nice greys. So another plan I had, I'm going to do, sometimes I buy colours and um, I don't really know what, what they're going to do, like especially if they're new to me. And so, um, uh, oh, um, uh, that's not so good. Oh, yeah, that's what um, yeah, so so do some studies with just one colour, um, just to see what happens with it when I do certain things with it. Like so, for example, I want to um, compare yellow ochre with Indian yellow um, in the paintings. They're kind of similar colours, but yellow ochre is opaque and it's a little bit duller than Indian yellow which is quite a bright yellow in the same it's almost the same color like it but it's just got a brighter feeling about it, but it's also tra a little semi transparent um, so so how that affects it um, compared to the opacity of yellow ochre will be an interesting little study um, so I'm going to figure that one out. That, that's something I'm a bit curious about. Um, and uh, so, I need to kind of go in there with that. I need to get into that here a little bit. I'm a bit annoyed with that purple actually. So, um, whoops. So I'll probably 
probably not. Oh, I just picked it up again. I probably should get rid of it off my palette. Now, which bit was that? Okay, oh, I need... Oh, man. Do as I say, not what I do. I should do what I say. Like, wipe my brush. I need to wipe my brush because I'm picking up white and I don't want white on my brush. But I'm picking it up because I'm sort of trying to rush. And that's the problem with, um, not the problem with life. I've got to just slow down and not worry about it. Taking time. Um, and just do it, just do it like I normally would. Work like I would. Mm. Yeah, but who can do that? Who can do that? 2022. Gosh. Who knows what the year will bring? You know, like here in Adelaide, we're just we're just COVID inundated. I mean, not only with COVID, but but with news about COVID. You know, everything's COVID. COVID this and COVID that, and everyone's completely sick of it. I think. Sick of COVID, but um, but yeah. So and even on the news now, I mean, my goodness. So they open up the borders to COVID um, just before Christmas, and now they're talking about on the radio this morning, starting off the term with homeschool. What the hell? Please, can we just you know? Just, no, do we have to? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, I, I shouldn't complain because we've been pretty lucky here. But, oh, wow. Yeah. Anyway. Ah, uh, I shouldn't really talk about it too much. That's a very boring subject. So I'm looking at this dog on the screen now. Hmm. Plenty of things wrong with it, so I might just probably should work in here a bit. Or yeah, let me just fix that bit. I think. So now I keep saying this, but um, problem with acrylic paints is that it, um, just wash it in everything I've got is that it dries pretty quick so so um you know you mix up the colour and then it's dried and so you've got to mix up again and it also dries darker acrylic paint dries darker than um what it goes on at so it's pretty hard to um you know match anything up really but then you get you kind of get used to it, I suppose, and work in these layers. And darken, darken that side a bit down there. Work in these layers. It is kind of yeah. Um, So let's just chop that bit off there and we'll just go up with that one. Um, and I'll fix that mouth up a bit too. So um, let's have to just one on here. I'll just take that down. And there's some orange in there. Oh, that's a nice colour. We'll just quite like some of these colours coming through now. So I can work on 
little bit that yeah. hmm just a little bit a bit dark through that I've got to fix those eyes too but I just want to get that mouth now okay so I've got this black and it's a kind of grey with my black and blue um, more blue. I really should try and get this um this mixing palette on the on the screen as well. That's my next challenge. I reckon. Get the mixing palette out there. Or whoever that one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I need some. I'm just walking all over this dog, working all over it. Need some more. Uh, Burnt sienna on my palette. And what do I do with the burnt sienna? The question. Burnt sienna, yeah, it's like it's not a beautiful colour on its own, but it's a really good mixer, you know, goes in everything. A little bit burnt sienna mixed in this and a little bit mixed in that. I rarely use it just as a colour on its own, but it's just a necessary. And I did have that from the last. Where is it? Oh, it's in my kit. This kit here, which is what, because I'm one using burnt sienna, where are we? A little bit, a little bit mission brownish. Not quite. Actually, mission brown's a bit darker than that. Very handy colour. Okay. So, we'll get to it now. And what I want to do, it's not so grey. I need more. I need more white. More white, more white. Yeah, so if I could only have like a few colours in my kit, gee, that'd be hard. Just a few. What would I choose? What well, we'd have to have white. White's not a colour, but you'd have to have it. <laughs> um. Oh, what else? I'd have a magenta. I really like. I like magentas. So I'd have a magenta. What else? Magenta for my red. Um, if I could only have one red, oh dear. Yeah, that would be hard. Would it be just magenta for my red? Mm. That's a bit softer. That is hard. Okay, I reckon maybe get into these eyes yet. Or am I still kind of... Working on this bit, I suppose. Around that bit of mouth. Off. All right, all right, um, um, this bit's really bothering me now. So what am I gonna do about that? Better do something about that. It's quite hard 
to see that because the light's hitting everything the background and the um, um, the, back, the bottom of the dog and this bit sort of merges into one so I'm, that's difficult I mean that's not impossible but I think I've got to cut that in how much further does that mouth come out Okay, it comes out a bit more. All right, I see my problem. A little bit of problem solving. So, I'll just bring this out a bit more. And we'll just put a few more dark. Like that. Goes out that way a bit more. And then, um, I'm looking at that on the screen. So we've got this one a bit, we can cut that in there like that. And then, um, just take that, just change the little angle of that because that will help there. And do I need to take some background into there. I think I do. I'm going to use the pink. I'm going to just use the pink. Or should I change the colour of the background? I get now, you know, I'm thinking, you know, do I change the colour of the background or do I not? But while I'm here, I'll just, I'm just going to try to just get rid of that. Can just fix that. So this I think a bit of reshaping of the old head. Um Okay. I'm going to the point now where I would love to get more fresh water and oh, damn it. Because all my water is so dirty. And actually, um interesting this stage with painting because you kind of you can you can just chuck down the first bits but then you've got to kind of think about the next bits and um so there's some floor there i'm gonna start thinking a little bit now but actually i, I could just go into the eyes so we've got that we got that one and that one and, oh, I see a problem there. That's the problem. Okay, I'll fix that bit. So chucking it down without thinking too much is good, but you do create you create a set of problems that you've got to solve. And, um, that's quite quite nice kind of to do. Solve solving problems. That's, that's really all it is. That's really what painting is, it's just solving problems, not what's happening. Okay, so I'll just solving problems. Um, purple again. I know I said I didn't want purple, but. I'm going to put it here. 
more purple. Actually, this is not really purple. This this one I'm using now. This color. I'm calling this purple, but it's actually called Pacific Blue. Fantastic color. Very nice color. Mix that with a bit of burnt sienna, and I get an interesting gray, which is what I want for here. So. Mix it with a bit of yellow ochre then. Then I just a little bit of orange as well, I think. And I'll warm it up. We're coming up this direction. You know. Um, yeah, that's a bit better shape wise. Still problems here. Problems. Problems. And here. A bit too dark in there. Bigger brush, thank you very much. Bigger brush. So, okay. Not, not that much. I'm going to go back to this one. This one. Oh. Right. Right, right, right. Well, that's good fun starting painting. Well, oh, that's way too bright. But having said that, I could just put a bit there. And maybe a bit here. Kind of gives it a speckled light kind of look. Dappled light and there. Mm. Okay, now I've got to calm that down with some white and grey it off with something. Oh, purple it off with something. Oh. Mm. See what this does. That's kind of nice, a bit warm. Okay, so little dots of color now, just to give a few. Do, 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 do. Oh, I really need to go into those eyes. Stop talking about it and just do it. Nike, just do it. But I will. I will. But first... No wonder I was going insane. <laughs> Because <laughs> we talk to ourselves all day long. If we don't listen to podcasts and things. That's just an excuse. Right. Alright, I will I will go into the eyes, but it's way too light and dark. Way too heavy kind of contrast going on here. Way too heavy kind of contrast. No, nothing that can't be fixed though. Which 
showing that today. And one more thing before going to his eyes. I think. Yeah, okay. Right. All right. No. All right. I will. I will do. I'll do the eye bit first because it's going to drive me insane. Which means I need a little brush. Just put, I'll just put a highlight of white there like that. Whoops, I've got to stop picking up that purple. Go back to my medium now. So in this eye here, I've got a, yeah, yeah, that. So I was taking a little bit of time, you know, you've got to just kind of concentrate and work on them a little bit slowly and um, get the, you know, load your brush up right. I mean, you chuck down the first layers like I've done, but then, okay, so what's on my brush first? I've got to think. I know. I'll just... And I quite like to um, kind of exaggerate them a bit in parts. I think you have to really. I need some grey, green, exaggerate parts of them. Okay, so the white of the eye under there is quite, quite in the shadow, so I'm going to make it grey. And actually, by putting in the whites of the eyes, I've just made that eye look a bit bigger, which is good, which is what I kind of wanted. So also, you've got to look, you know, what's happening around the eyes here as well. The shape of that bit there is a bit wrong. So I need, I'll, I'll actually use um, this. A slightly bigger brush, but it's still small to um, get some of this. So I'm just going to slightly tweak the shape of that there. Yeah, and then that goes up there. And then, yeah, this one up here. Um, yeah, we can take that down there a bit. Is that really it? I thought, you know, I thought I had hours and hours of stuff to talk about, but gee, it, it, it's, um, it doesn't last long. Like one subject doesn't last so long. And then you're back talking crap. And that is way too dark there, but I'll um, go just smidge, smidge. Oh no, that's too light now. Yeah. Got that wrong bit, that's better. Okay. Um, and some dark, I need. Okay, so I've got that dog there. Problem solving, this is. Problem solving. Uh, bit of a drag there. So that one's look now what's the other one doing? Okay. Yeah, 
I need a bit of dark on it. But... So, well, I'm just thinking I don't know, I ain't really know what to do with here. A bit of white, a little bit there, a bit of grey. Another version of grey here, brown grey. down the inside of the eye. Yeah. So, okay, so now I'm just going to go with that other eye because I'm bringing them forward and then I'll go back. Actually, And I need some time. Let's just put this one there like that. Just to give me a bit of a Um, okay, other eye, other eye. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, just leave that one. Okay, the other eye has a big pupil. Where is it? Slightly down. No. Okay. A big black pupil. Big black pupil. So just round that one off a bit yeah and so does that and just go that way a bit more so the brown part of the eye because it's in a shadow is showing a bit of kind of weird olive green which is really weird, so I'm going to kind of somehow mix that up a bit. Um, so, this bit, oh, oh yeah. So, the brown, the burnt sienna, with some blue and a bit of yellow to make it grey. Yellow ochre I'm using. Why would I use some of that Australian sienna? Maybe too, because it's a stronger colour and it's um it's a really strong yellowy ochre colour but but very bright there is you know and if I use a bit of that in the mix it really make throw a green does. Okay, so that's my brown in the shadow colour. Oh man. Okay, right on the other one, sorry. Black back in there. Nice and black. 
This is so funny trying to just talk for all this time. I feel quite self conscious. Oh, there's only time I've got. I feel quite self conscious about it, really. But there's not much I can do about it. No, there really isn't. I mean, my other option is to get some kind of weird streaming music going, but no, I like listening to the birds. I don't really like the sound of my own voice. So, but I'm just going to have to put up with it. Put up with it. Oh, so, yeah, I kind of, from quite brown down there, so I might use some of this. Dark around the eyes. A monster. A little monster. Why do they, I don't even know why do they get that dark around the eyes? These dogs. I don't even know. Little monsters. Well, I'll put this little bit of shine out there and then we can, we can just soften that. And add some grey. Grey blue. This is actually in the scrape mm. across the eye. Let's see if they get a bit of shine. A little bit of shine. It looks a little bit wonky still. Because uh, that's because of what's going on through the middle here, I think. So, has this been an hour? I think I might have been an hour. What is the time? I don't even know what time I started. It's 11 11. I have no idea what time I started, but I will be able to know when I turn this thing off. Um, and then I can. Um, Check out my time. Write it in my diary, <laughs> which is the plan. Plan is to write it in my diary. I'm gonna try this drag now. That's a bit too many. Can we go up there with that? And there we go. And I've got a long way to go on this one actually. Uh, I could probably do that there actually. Kind of not bad. Uh, I might just do that tone under the ear one here. Next. I want to do one more thing on that. More white, more white. More white, more white. And then I reckon I'm going to stop on this one. For the minute, for the day, for the, you know, let it dry, wash, clean up my 
mess here. And um, So the question is, I could come come back and do more work on these half finished ones on a live stream, but it's very, very boring, I think. I think you make boring content. Beginnings are really fun and interesting. Quick studies are also fun and interesting. But um oh I need pink in that. But finishing stuff off's a bit slow. No, it's like a oh, just t takes ages, you know. To well, not ages, but takes um. a bit of concentration and just. A bit of sort of slow little touch ups here and little touch ups there, and make myself another cup of tea. And <laughs> but the beginnings are just quick and fun, so so I don't know. I don't know if it's something I could come back. Interesting. Um. Interesting, interesting. Do, do, do. Oh, I seriously want to stop. I do. I want to stop now. Mm. I want to stop. I go crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got this nice colour on my brush. Oh, that's a better colour for that. La 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 la. as I go to. Hmm. Okay, whatever. And actually that's like that bit of good there. And I'll just goes out to here. Oh man, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop and eat something I think. Even though I've had breakfast I think I need to um have something morning tea. It's morning tea time. Yes. Well that's that. That's the beginning, anyway. Another few workings on that. Oh, she's coming along. She's coming along, okay. Right. Good.